this lake full of blood? Wonder what's made it so red. Watch where you're going! Are these people harassing you? Harassing him? We're his parents! I told you, Mother. This is for your protection. Protection from what, exactly? He just got back from Delphi. Spoke with the Oracle. Been out of his mind ever since. She revealed my prophecy. My mind has never been more clear. She said I would do unspeakable things to my parents. That Mother's blood would stain the earth. And Potter would scream to the gods in agony. Oracles and prophecies do more harm than good. You should listen to your gut. What are you doing? Listening to my gut. And it's telling me my parents will suffer if you don't help me. Here we go. You could save my parents from my vicious wrath. You don't have a vicious bone in your body. Quiet, Pater. Me and the Missios are talking. My sword and shield. Gifts from Mater and Pater. We must return them to my parents, so they can defend themselves from my ferocious temper. All right, Subidio. I'll get these weapons for you. For a price. Of course! My parents will gladly pay you for your troubles. What?! What?! Seek out Costa, the village blacksmith. I brought him the sword to be sharpened not too long ago. And the shield? This will be trickier. I'll explain when you return from the blacksmith. Can't wait. You are being superstitious! You mustn't free me! These ropes are the only thing between my parents and my wrath! Please, Mistyos, go see the blacksmith and get me my sword! <laughs> Aphrodite on Earth! Uh, my name is Costa, at your service. Cassandra. Whatever you need, name it, it's yours. I could bend some metal for you, oil, those rippling muscles, uh, fix that broken spear. I'm looking for a sword. Belongs to Supideo. Ah, Supideo. Love that boy. Bit on the thin side, if you ask me. His parents feed him nothing. Yes. Well, he needs his sword back. And I'd love to give it to you. His sword, I mean. Uh, but I can't just uh, hand over swords to every gorgeous warrior who walks by. Give me the sword, and I'll make this a day you'll never forget. Oh, I'm... I... Uh, I just... Uh, that would make every dream I've ever had come true. Uh, there's just one tiny problem. Uh, you see, my spear is also broken, if you catch my meaning. Shame. But... Uh, there are special flowers in the forest beyond the Xerxes military fort, planted by Aphrodite herself. They really help to, um, reforge, if you know what I mean. Fine. I'll get the flowers and you'll give me the spear. I mean, sword. I mean, <clears throat> don't go anywhere.
That should be enough to stop the blacksmith's flame. Gorgeous, Mistyos. You take my breath away. Did you bring the flowers? I can't even go flower picking without some beast trying to kill me. But yes, I have them. Perfect! So, did you mean what you said about making this a day I'd never forget? Enough talking. Eat your plants. Incredible. Thank Aphrodite. <laughs> Thank all the gods. Here, as promised, I'll never forget you. No, you won't. I should get this back to Supidio's parents before he does anything... Stupidio. Oh, beautiful, Mistyos. If only I had more Aphrodite flowers... Oh, beautiful, Mistyos. If only I had more Aphrodite flowers... You've returned. Did you bring the sword? I did. Thank the gods. I knew I could count on you. But this is only one of the items I needed. And I have two parents. So tell me about this shield. Well, according to my parents, it was stolen while I was visiting the Oracle of Delphi. Stolen? It's as good as gone, then. I overheard Mater and Pater whispering about it. They mentioned the cave beyond the Red Lake. Talked about the thief as if they knew her. Strange. Go to the cave, Mistyos. Bring me back my shield. Only then will my parents be truly safe from my fury. Time to find this thief. Subithil mentioned...
There she is. This must be the cave. Perfect hiding spot for a thief. Where's my little thief?
Vistios! At last! Did you find the shield? I did. Now you can protect yourselves from the prophecy. So, you found the thief? Oh, yes. Cut her in half. She won't steal anything from anyone ever again. And what about the blacksmith? Oh, he's very much alive. We did things in the back of his workshop that would make Aphrodite blush. You didn't! This is awful! Mater? Pater? What's wrong? You're safe. The prophecy's broken. Actually, there's something we've been meaning to tell you. Supidio, you were adopted. What? A young couple brought you to us. They knew we'd give you a better home. That sword and shield is your inheritance from them. Wait. So the thief and the blacksmith... ...are Supidio's birth parents. You killed his mother and fucked his pater. But the prophecy said Pater would scream to the gods in agony. Oh, he screamed, but not in agony. Ah! Ah! You killed Mater and had sex with Pater. Supidio, I had no idea. I can't get the image out of my head. I don't want to see anymore. Ah! I'm blind, Mistios. Are you happy? My dreams are forever haunted. Mother will bleed, mother will scream. No, Chris. No, Chris. Land of salt and more salt. My dreams are forever haunted. Mother will bleed, father will scream. <laughs> 